I uh, want to bring in now MSNBC political contributor Greg Bluestein. He's also a political reporter with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and he is the author of Flipped, How Georgia Turned Purple and Broke the Monopoly on Republican Power. Greg, good to talk to you. What are you hearing? Yeah, well, we've expected that Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis would set up a timeline to be presenting her case involving Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the Georgia election early this coming week, but now we have it on the record. Now we've confirmed that former Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, who's expected to be a star witness if criminal charges go forward, has confirmed that he has received a 48-hour notice, a notice to testify on Tuesday before the grand jury. So that sets up a scenario where we could be hearing about a potential indictment uh, of Donald Trump and his allies as early as this Tuesday. So, so talk to me first about um, the expectations of a testimony from um, the lieutenant governor. Yeah, well, the former lieutenant governor is a Republican. He's a conservative Republican. But he also broke with Donald Trump in 2020 in a very visible way. Uh, he wrote a book called GOP 2.0 that advocated for a post-Trump future for the Republican Party. He demoted several pro-Trump state senators who were chairmen of their committees after they joined the efforts to overturn Georgia's election and encouraged then-Vice President Mike Pence to block the Electoral College confirmation of Georgia's uh, electoral votes. And he's done other things. He's taken other steps to distance himself from the MAGA wing of the Republican Party. So I think his testimony is important for all those reasons. But also, it seems like uh, prosecutors want to show that this is not a uh, partisan case, that there's Republicans in the state administration who are also very vocal critics. All of right. This. So, so if we're looking at a testimony from the former um, lieutenant governor um, on Tuesday, is that likely then, and I know you talked about this, but talk more about it if you can, that then we would hear of a charging decision on that Tuesday, maybe late afternoon timing-wise, and if we would then hear from um, Fonnie Willis herself? Yeah, it's t the, the timing is still uncertain, but now we know that if he's set to testify on Tuesday, and of course, the schedule can change, things could change, uh, they could decide not to call him, who knows? But it does set up a scenario where we could hear as early as Tuesday. We don't know, it's unclear where the other witnesses, we've reported three other names, we know of some other names who we haven't been able to report yet. It's unclear when, when they're going to testify, if it's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, or even later. Um, yeah. But we do know now at least that one one witness, one very important witness is testifying Tuesday. So it could come as early as Tuesday. And, and just so everyone's clear, the two days the norm, that normally this grand jury meets is on Mondays and Tuesdays, correct? Exactly. Um, so we're, but you know, they, they could extend it. Who knows? Right. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts here with yeah. so many potential uh, defendants.